Well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. Let me see now. While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater. <laughs> Flatten Parky Bowls' prize roses and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater, but be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. Your mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Oh, no! <laughs> Music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, 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 Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na na na. Brilliant. Yeah, Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. You really rule. Na, na, na. For goodness' sake, Dennis, you'll wake me up. Stop horrible racket at once. So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but... Uh... Hurry it up, Curly. I'm getting a crick in me neck. Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. What's that? I quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. I can't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your Mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. Really good pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, <laughs> pity. It would have been the best yet. about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! the trick. This will be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. Good dad. Good mum. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! Wow! A Wayhe Games console! Oh! And the latest game for it! Superbike GP Battle of the Champions! Oh! Thanks, son! See what 
he got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum! Tennis! How lovely! I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day! Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. Tell you what, Nasha, we'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice, quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, hmm. Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here goes! Hey, my hat! Hey. <laughs> Must be caught on a root or something. So then he said, "Pardon me, Al. Is that the car that you did new shoes?" <laughs> 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 Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. Come, let's all just calm down. <laughs> all right, it's Saturday. <laughs> Steady on. It's not our fault. 
thought, Mum. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday! And after that, tidy your room! You two! Go on! Oh! There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat, <laughs> how to crack crimes and solve mysteries. <laughs> the mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries? Cool! There. Oh, now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. Oh, <laughs> oh where's my teapot? <laughs> It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? <laughs> a private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. <gasps> this afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Cop a whiff of that natural pal and she, if you can't, sniff out the culprit. Treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <laughs> nice work, Nasher. Looks like the trail might end right here. <laughs> So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts, and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tied hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tom, ti tom, ti tom, tom. Tra la! <laughs> Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <gasps> OK, teapot rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? Yes, yes. Teapot? Loot? Oh, I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <coughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs Creature has a vast collection. <laughs> <sighs> This is the life, nice and quiet, a pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are you doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? 
So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No! OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we've found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> Oh, sorry, you can't come in here. Go uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Oh, well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, and sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks, enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why? Uh, thank you. Uh, I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one! dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right. No teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way. We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait. Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry! Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> Choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! Hello, sweet cheeks! Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away! Butch over a beagle! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis! Oh, you're a brilliant investigator! Sure has! Sweet cheeks! What happened to my lawn? Well, it all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents! That's one mystery I'll never solve. Any luck? 
look, not yet. But you know Pie Face. He thinks the Beano Town Pie Festival is like a whole month of birthdays rolled into one. And if we don't find him soon, we'll have a repeat of last year's disaster. Wait, there he is! <sighs> the Pie Festival. People selling pies, buying pies, eating pies. I don't think so. Remember what happened last year? <gasps> I can't hold him, Dennis. Oh, we have to, Curly. Cos if we don't... Oh, no. No, Pie Face! No, Pie Face, don't do it! Oh, he's doing it. Remember now, Pie Face? Oh, yeah. And remember what our dad said? If it happened again, we'd be grounded till we were 90. <gasps> It'd be worth it for one more taste of that winning pie. No, it wouldn't be worth it. I don't want to be grounded and stuck at home. Me neither. Look, Pie Face, there are plenty of things to do better than eating pies. There are? Yeah, loads of things. Come on, let's go and have some fun. Take your mind off it. Here, over here. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> Tree climbing, time parking bowls his shoes together, but he's still thinking about pies. I know. I think it's time for Plan B aversion therapy. Aversion? What? You'll see. Explain it to me again, Dad. Why are we giving him pie? We're not curly. See? If he takes it, his teddy bear gets it. No, Pie Face! Don't do it! Walter, 
Nearly crashed into your stall. Good job you didn't. <sighs> I reckon I'm on course to win again this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, looks like we beat him here. How do you know? Cos no one's screaming, get off me pies! So, what now? Dunno, but I'll think of something. Ladies and gentlemen, soon it'll be time to pick the winner of the grand title, Best Pie in Festival. Which should be... Uh, soon. Uh, when our chief judge arrives, that is. <laughs> You've got a plan, haven't you? Oh, yes. Going then, Curly, because here comes my face. Okay, I'm on my way. No, my face. No. Pies. Right, that's it. Just wait till I tell your dance. You'll be grounded forever. Nasha, quick, Plan C. Walter out of the way. Now, I've just got to keep Pie Face occupied for a while. <sighs> oh no, you don't! Just a few minutes, I promise. Are you sure? Trust me. Have I ever let you down? <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a slight delay. Our uh, chief judge still hasn't turned up. I wonder what could have happened to her. Ooh, I don't get it. I'm sure that curly-haired kid said the pie festival was here. Mr. Mayor, how about a stand-in judge? Uh, well, I don't know. Remember what happened last year? Oh, oh yes, yes, I, I remember. remember. remember oh, judge, I'll I'll a a yes, but you have to admit, no one knows more about pies than Pie Face. Yeah, well, that's right. Pie Face, Pie Face, Pie Face, Pie. Oh, very well. Come on up then, lad. Yeah! Yeah! Well, what do I have to do? Well, you just have to taste all these pies and tell us which one's best. <gasps> now, when you say taste. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do we have a winner? No. I just can't choose. They were all so good that they're all winners. You saved the day. And as a reward, here are some special presentation pies. <laughs> <laughs> will be dogs. And you two did save the pie festival. I, I think we'll overlook it on this occasion. You know what? I don't really fancy any more pie for now. <sighs> <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> oh, a new amp for me guitar! Wow! Thanks, Gran. They're super loud too. 
Special Extra Loud Edition with added loudness. Loud, then. Comes with these industrial strength earplugs. Fantastic! Let's try it out, eh? It'll have to wait, Dennis. I promised Walter we would be the test audience for his lecture. Walter? Lecture? Oh. Well, of course, the very few of us here who are as smart as I will know that the process is called photosynthesis. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed my talk on the science of flowers. Bertie, if you please. Great! Is it over? Until tomorrow at assembly, yes. This was just a dress rehearsal. You say something? Come on, Nasha. We've got a brand new amp and a world waiting to complain. Now, let their ears beg for mercy. Din -din -din! <laughs> Go bouncy castle! Sorry, B. Band practice. Got senses to assault, you know. Din -din bouncy castle now! Oh, B. <laughs> Forget it, B. Me music comes first. Now we go, Bouncy Castle. It's just not fair. I always have to give in to B. Yeah, her bottom's unbeatable. Or is it? Quick! Sooner we get our gear up into the treehouse, the better. Den den! Yay! Park now! Ain't gonna happen, B. <laughs> Me need windy beans! <laughs> Take my windy beans! Come on, din makers! Let's get set up! OK, then. Ready to rock? Yeah. Just got to plug in and... Hey! Where's the volume knob? The volume knob on my amp's gone! Maybe it's invisible, then. No. I know exactly who did this. Give me that volume knob, B. Then, then, give me windy beans! No way! OK. Me hide, nubby nub. No! Oh! What? Me glad who's here, bouncy pals. <laughs> Hi, Tooth. Uh, uh, Thanks, Jakes. <laughs> OK. Got poo poo nappies. Squirty milk milk. Scary faces. <laughs> Now, me tell plan. Can't we just go and look for the volume knob? And leave the beans unprotected? No, she only needs one can. We have to let B make the first move. <laughs> ah! What was that? Yuck! Okay, lads, get the light bulb. Just give us the location of the volume knob and you can go. Okay, have it your way. Curly, bring me the soap and water. It's bath time. <gasps> OK, 
Okay, you leave me no choice. Tell us where the volume knob is, or I will give you a kiss. No, <gasps> Dennis, no! I know what I'm doing, Curly. No! Okay, me tell. Ugh. Me head knob. Walter, Dennis will be your flower. <gasps> no! Good morning, children. At today's assembly, we have an extra special treat for you. Just think floral, Dennis. Now let's go check our props, Dudley. And don't think you can dodge this, Dennis. I'll be watching. Me? Thought you were grounded. Me escape. Me sorry, Den Den. Yeah, me too, B. Me help. How? In three minutes' time, Beano Town's biggest menace will be Beano Town's biggest laughing stock. So, unless you know how to empty a school hall in under. <gasps> of course! B, your bottom can empty any room in seconds. But no beans! Yeah, they're all still in the treehouse, and Dad's boarded that up. All right, team, on stage, please. <gasps> Wait! Master, master! For Den Den! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, a spotlight and a full house. What more could one want? <laughs> Paper bag. Think I'm going to puke. So, without further ado, let us raise the curtain on... <laughs> Oopsie. Once B brings that volume knob, this new amp is finally gonna rock Beano Town! Glad you two aren't fighting now. Yeah, we're a good team. Yep, you're a sis in a million, B. B's got a nubby nub nub! Great! Where'd you hide it then? Oh, brilliant! Disgusting, but brilliant! Excuse me, but don't you think that's a little loud? Loud? Hey! Oh, no, 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 carry on. Uh, my mistake. Off to. I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday. But we 
can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, Pie Face. Savour the taste of freedom. OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, hey, all right, let's go. School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely he can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. Aha! Colonel, has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK, technically that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. I tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. For some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike... A month! ..and I cycled through some wet cement. Six months! ..and some thorny bushes. Two years! But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years! Dennis! How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded! But what for? For ever! Oh. This is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded! I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. So much for being... Inside! Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah. After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis! It's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room! You too, Nasha. <laughs> now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. <laughs> Here are your stray pups. Oh. I caught the 
these two trying to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. It's so boring in here. I've got to get out. But I can't, cos everyone in Bean Old Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for, so if they can't see me... <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. <laughs> I'm out of the house and no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Quiet. Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Mm. Oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blair. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bowles. How lovely to see you here. Oh, Crowning Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it, but only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> You do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh! <laughs> Dennis! Ninety-eight! Ninety-nine! One hundred! See, Curly? Told you Nasha had a hundred fleas. You owe me an ice cream. Oh. See you later, dear. 
Can't you boys find something a bit more useful to do in the holidays? Like that nice Walter. Why? What's he doing? Good business by the look of it. Why not try today's special offer? Buy three muffins and get ten bonus points on your Walter Enterprises loyalty card. Oh, what a wonderful idea. What's your name, young man? <coughs> My card. Oh, how very, um, enterprising. Remember, the three golden rules of business. Number one, always look your best. Number two, always use pie charts. Did he say pies? Pie charts, pie face. And rule number three, the most important, always behave like a grown-up. Like a grown-up. Got it. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I've been offered a very important position and I don't want to be late. <laughs> important position? What's he on about? Dennis, lunch. Oh, thanks, Mum. I'm starving. Not your lunch, silly. Dad's. He left it on the kitchen table. Could you be a love and take it to his office for him? Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> How did that get there? It should be in its proper place. Hi, Dad. I brought you lunch. And uh, this is the rubber band and paper clips department. Oh, no! It's Scrimp! He mustn't see you here! Quick! Ah, what's his name? There you are. I'd like to introduce your new assistant. Say hello to Walter. Walter? He's here for the summer to learn the business. Why are there rubber bands everywhere? Well, spotted lad, you're learning fast. <laughs> Masha, don't! What's that noise? <laughs> uh, uh, my tummy. <laughs> I have a bit of uh, indigestion. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Walter. I'll show you the canteen. How about some lemonade? Hmm? I prefer herbal tea, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, much healthier. <laughs> Your previous system of rubber band classification was extremely inefficient, so I've reorganised them according to length, colour and elasticity. There's really no need... I've also labelled things in the office so we know what's what and whose is whose. The thing is, what's his name? It's just more efficient this way. That's it. You're supposed to be my assistant. What's more, you will address me by my proper name. It's Mr... What's his name? What's going on, eh? Why all this shouting? Uh, sorry, Mr Scrimp. How's our young work experience lad doing, eh? Fine, Mr Scrimp. Just fine. <laughs> I knew it. I predict great things for you, Walter. Well, uh, carry on, what's his name? Come on, look lively. Quality, elasticity, efficiency, herbal tea. <laughs> Can you believe it, Nasha? Walter's making Dad's life a misery. <laughs> well, tomorrow it'll be a different story, cos Dad will have us helping him out. My new roller clip storage system will revolutionise Dad's department. What? What's that doing there? Dennis, I thought I told you to... Don't worry, Dad. I'm helping. You can't help, Dennis. Not today. I'm giving a very important talk about efficiency. Trust me. I can be just as efficient as Walter. Look, I've fastened the paper clips together so you won't lose any. Thanks, Dennis, but where's the end of the chain? Walter, there you are. Um, I'd like you to meet Hiram Bigbacks, the head of our company. He's flown all the way from Texas to be with us for the talk. Heard a lot about you, son. Scrimp tells me you got them rubber bands licked. <laughs> yes, sir. What have you got there? Paperclips, sir. Some very silly person has fastened them all together. 
so I'm going to undo them again. <laughs> I like you, Walter. You remind me of myself as a boy. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Sorry, Mr. Scrimp, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. That does it! I've had it with you, what's his name? From now on, you can just empty the waste paper bins. But what about the presentation? I'm leaving that to my most efficient employee, Walter! You've got to get off me dad's case, Walter. Sorry, Dennis. It's not my fault if your father is inefficient. Right, Nashie. This means war. My fellow executives, to save me dad's job, we've got to fight Walter with useless... Uh, I mean, ruthless efficiency. My business plan comprises the latest marketing strategies, fiscal projections and profit indexes, and this leaky pen, hair gel, glasses and fake moustaches. Any questions? What's an executive? I'll tell you later. Menace and company, let's go to work. There goes Walter. Time to put phase one of our business plan into action. Nasha? Yes. Phase two will be carried out in the boardroom. Let's see how Walter handles a takeover bid. When Hiram Big Bucks hears my speech, he'll be so impressed, he'll probably give me Mr. Squimp's job! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be talking about the global market, with particular reference to rubber bands and paper clips. Uh, you have a question? Yes. Would you agree with me that the first rule of business is always to look your best? Because if so, <laughs> I don't think you've looked in the mirror recently. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was saying, to illustrate my points, I'm going to be using pie charts. Like this one. <laughs> oh, I think you've drawn your pie chart a bit too efficiently. <laughs> Someone's taken a bite out of it. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Forget about the pie charts and talk about uh, elasticity. Hello? Yes, what now? I've heard it said that behaving like a grown up is the most important thing in business. Is that true? Yes, it is! And interrupting people is very childish. So could you please. <laughs> Skateboarding? That's not very grown up, is it, Walter? You! And now, phase three! Run for it, lads! <laughs> Get this dumb kid off me! Dennis, what have you done now? Uh, got you your job back. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Big Box. Oh, uh, if there's anything I can do... You can stop hiring boys to do a man's job! Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Where do you think you're going? There's work to do. Ah, it's great being in business. Pie face, take a letter. Dear Mum, can you hurry up with the lemonade and cake? Forget it, Dane. I think Pie face is in love. <laughs>